Do you want to play rough? Okay. No. Say hello to my little friend. Good YouTube, how's everyone doing? How's everyone been? Hope everyone's been blessed. And yeah, I just hope everyone's living life. Um, what I've been doing, um, to be honest. Yeah, man, we've got a big catch up. Um, first of all, the RS was broken again. Um, right now, we're actually going to go and get a tat. Um, yeah, get a tattoo. It's been a tattoo that I've been wanting for a long time um put it that way uh yeah it's just it's just something that i've been really really wanting to do um it's got meaning behind it also so you guys can you know google what the meaning is all it is is gonna be a cross just behind my ear yeah it being england it just started to you know drizzle a bit um pools if anyone still does that um but yeah it started to rain a little bit so just shut the pan roof um, luxuries of a pan roof but yeah I'm on the way um, now to go and get my tattoo like I'm, I'm happy I am happy about it a bit nervous because I've never had like a face couldn't you call it a face tattoo hmm. I don't know put your opinions down in the comments and tell me exactly what you think that it is 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 something on your neck considered as a face tattoo I don't know um you know i was hesitant on getting it but yeah i think i think at the time of where we are now in life um i think it's a good move um because it's got mad meaning behind it um and yeah i really and truly been wanting it for a long while sorry for the weird camera shaking angle it's just because i don't have the gimbal with me because i said you know what why not take you guys on this journey with me um Hence the reason why I'm just recording on my phone. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, it's been a long, it's been a long while um, from since I've checked in with you guys. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the RS was broken. Um, yeah, I'll film a separate video on what happened to it, how it happened, when it happened, and let you know um, all of the pros and cons. And I actually met a few good people along that journey to be fair um so yeah hopefully i can introduce you to them or even just give their company a shout out um other than that at this current moment in time car's still gray haven't wrapped it yet and literally just been like working just just been doing work you know like it's not been an easy run for me but i've just been knuckling down working you know um i think i last checked him with you guys in november um and now it's march so you can see i've been putting in the grind um and there's been a few upsets um but you know it's it's life isn't it it's like what i've been saying to you guys all all in the beginning life can throw these curveballs at you it just depends on the way how you're going to deal with them what outcome you're going to get um so yeah as i said i'm just going to go get this tack now um, hopefully I can film some cinematics for you and I can, you know, yeah, show you exactly where it's at, give them good recommendation because that's what I'm saying, tax are scary things, you know, that's, that's a piece of artwork what's going to be with you for the rest of your life. So people getting like these silly things like pineapple or if it don't have no meanings behind it or like an apple or something like and they thinking it looks cute like or dog paws like come on man guys like when you're old and gray like and you're looking at your grandchildren like are you gonna really do you want that type of tap yeah nah so you know it's it's a it's a big thing for me um to get a tap and it's somebody who I haven't used um before so yes yeah, Everything's up in the air at this moment. Am I nervous? 10 being nervous, one not being nervous. I say right now, the closer I get to the shop, I'm like a I'm like a cool seven. 
I'm a cool seven at the moment. Not scared of the pain, because I've had tats before, everyone's seen my arm, I'm, I'm tatted. But yeah, like, to get blasted on your neck, oof, I don't know, man, I don't know, it's, yeah, I don't know. But let's see, just follow the journey, guys, and yeah, thanks for the ones who are still stayed subscribed. We dropped to 164, 165, then we've gone back up to 166. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it's just one of those ones. Um, but yeah, I know it's my fault because I haven't been consistent, and with YouTube, it's about consistency, but... Yeah, once I talk to you guys about what's been going on in the last couple of months, you will kind of get why I put down the camera. Um, yeah, literally, it's just a time factor. Nothing scary, nothing crazy, but it's just a time factor. But yeah, I'm I'm trying to get back to the mojo in it because, yeah, like I was um, reminded the other day, you know, I went into a shop and someone recognised me. You know, that's the first time that's ever happened in my life, you know, and I was just like, yeah that's me and he goes oh sick car so shout out to you if you're watching this video right now you actually are the reason why that i've picked up the camera again without you knowing so just check and see how like small things what people do to like influencers or should i say people who's out there on social media just like the smallest comment can knock someone back 10 steps or the smallest comment can make them want to do something 10 times better you know so just be mindful of the things that you say to people guys and laugh because yeah it's literally you can make somebody or you can break someone's day so yeah as i said we're getting close off to um we're getting closer sorry to the actual location so yeah getting a bit more nervous but yeah let's do this guys i'll see you once we get there Okay, so we're here in the thirty shop. Um, get a little calm vibes. Just um, sat here. We're gonna be next. Um, but yeah, as I was saying gonna get attacked right behind the air meaning of it uh main meaning of it is uh it's hearing the word of god um so yeah it continues on with literally the theme what i've got on my arm um first tattoo what was on my arm was of jesus uh, carrying on a cross sacrificing himself for his people and for his families and for his loved ones um so yeah most of my tattoos have got meaning with it tattoo on the back has um a tattoo of an uh, angel with a crooked halo meaning that um, you know some things in life like you want perfection but you can't really truly seek perfection because perfection is basically a opinion um, and that's literally just based upon like what I was going through at that time when I was playing football it was almost like everyone wants the perfect thing everyone wants a perfect kind of view in life everyone wants something to be perfect but when you really and truly sit down on what is perfect ask someone to describe something perfect they're just gonna describe it with that same word perfect is perfect uh, perfect is something what is clean okay but something what is clean could be defective it could be broken so what is perfect so hence the reason why my angel's got a crooked halo because angel sim symbolizes a guardian so i've got a guardian always protecting me however that guardian isn't going to be perfect at all times do you know what i mean so sometimes we could be led into doing something bad or we could be led into doing something good it depends on what your situation is um so that was the meaning behind that and i got that one i think when i was like 21 20, 21 yeah 2021 um so yeah it's like a few years on from there now um then we got you know the arm filled in um because literally it was like just um at that moment it was just like images on the arm so i wanted something to go in between all of it so i had to choose something to go in between it all um got the stars on on my arm um in time we're gonna add color to it and add a bit more shade into it and then we're gonna move on to the top arm um 
hopefully if yeah, everything goes well with where I am now, I'll be coming here basically and doing the top of my arm before summer basically. Um, and then yeah, moving on, etc, etc, do the other arm, do my leg. So yeah, that's the ones that I want. I wanted only on my right leg. Um, up to my up to my knee, I wanted like a calf tap. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's basically mainly because I wear shorts when it comes around to summertime. I hate to be in long clothing. Um, so yeah, thought that would look cool. And it's always been a thing of mine where I've wanted to go and get a tap. I've always literally wanted to get a tap on my leg, literally. So that's what I'll be doing. Um, I would say maybe by my birthday, so a September time. But yeah, let me jump in the chair next and then yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this.